Hello everyone. In this video, we will learn how to create Get My Location app using MIT App Inventor. So first of all, let's see how this app works. So open your MIT App Inventor and scan the QR code and it will take few seconds for the app to appear on your device. So this is my Get My Location app. Click on show me my location button and it will show you your location. Your location is pointed by that blue marker. You can always zoom in and zoom out. Right now my location is somewhere near New Delhi. In, to be more precise, somewhere in East Delhi. You can always zoom in the app to view your precise location along with the latitude and longitude. Okay, now let's create Get My Location app using MIT App Inventor. This is my designer window and I've created a new project by the name Get My Location. So in the designer window, first of all, the user interface of this app is pretty simple. We will go to the user interface palette and I will drag. Let me just scroll down and I, let's go to the maps palette and I will drag maps on my mobile screen. Now let's go to the properties panel and change the height and width of this map as fill parent. Okay, so this is done. Now in the properties panel, we have an option here, map type. You can change the map type. If you click on the drop down arrow, there are three map types. First one is road. Then we have aerial. This is the aerial view and next the terrain view. So right now I'm okay with the roads type. Now there are a few options. At the bottom of this properties panel, first one is show zoom. Just check this checkbox. When you check this box, zoom in and zoom out options or the controls will be present on your map. Then if you click on show user, it will show a marker on the screen that will show the location of the user. And then show scale, it will show scale at the bottom right of your map. And then if you click on show compass, it will show the compass on top right of your map. So yeah, we are done with the properties panel and now in the properties panel, this center from string option, it has two values. If you read this carefully, it has 42.359144 comma minus 71.093614. So these are the two values separated by comma. The first one is the latitude value. Second is the longitude value. So basically, this is the longitude and latitude of the current location that the map is showing. When you start the map, the map will always initially, when you open the app, it will always point to this location whose longitude and latitude is mentioned here. So for example, when you open the app and you want, it should by default show you the map of India, then enter latitude and longitude value of India here. So right now when I open the map, it shows me the location somewhere in America. So these are the longitude and latitude of USA. So you can always change this latitude and longitude by using the latitude and longitude finder app. So if you go to your Chrome browser, open a new tab and click here latitude and longitude finder. Finder. So we have a web page that help us to find the latitude and longitude of any place. This is the first link. If you click on this link here, you can type the name of any place. For example, if I type here India and click on find, it will search latitude and longitude of India for me. To your latitude, copy the latitude value, go to your app inventor and paste the latitude value here. Now then go to your longitude value, copy this value and paste it here on the map yeah so let me delete this negative sign yeah so it's fine now i have placed the longitude and latitude of india here let's always when you enter the latitude and longitude here click on this option so first one is to lock your map movement if you click this box then you will not be able to move your map in your app phone device when you will test this app so let's just unlock this one and click here. So now my uh, your map, when you will open your map on your device, it will open somewhere, uh, it will show the map of India. Okay, so you can always change this latitude and longitude value. 
and now let's add some buttons on the screen so first button i'll add this button just a minute let me scroll up and drag this button and place the button here and i will add two labels here these labels will show the value of longitude and latitude so now let's change the text of this button so if i click on button 1 let's change the text to show me my location okay and let's change the text of this label 1 and label 2 to latitude and longitude label 1 to latitude and label 2 to longitude and I want all this to appear on the center of the screen. So click on screen 1 and change the alignment. Align horizontal to center and align vertical to center. And now let's change the background color of the screen to black. Okay. Uh, let's make it, sorry, let's make it black. And now my latitude and longitude text is not visible. So... Let's change the text color to white in this case. Yeah, latitude also white and longitude also white. So yeah, we are done with the user interface of this app. This is how my app will look. Now let's move to the blocks window. Now in the blocks window, let's click on button 1 in the blocks. And when button 1 is clicked, so button 1 says show me my location. So when button 1 is clicked, then go to your map sensor, drag your, okay, so scroll down and just, yeah, drag and snap this block here. It says call map 1, pan to lo la latitude, longitude and zoom. So let's, we will, oh, I completely forgot in the designer window, you need to add the sensor also, otherwise it will not show you the value. So otherwise it will not show you the location actually, so... Go to your sensors and add location sensor. Simply drag and drop this here. The location sensor will not be visible to you on the screen. But when you look at the bottom, it says non-visible component location sensor 1. So, do add the location sensor. Only then you will be able to, uh, this app will be able to track your location. So, now click on location sensor 1 in the blocks panel. And here we have location sensor 1 latitude. Just drag this. Now, let's duplicate this. Place this here and change the latitude to longitude and let's change the zoom to when we open the map and we click on show me my location. It should zoom the map by 10 points. Okay, So let's do it 10. You can write any number here 10, 15, 20, 12, 13, whatever you wish to. Now go to your location sensor and when location sensor 1 dot location changed, whenever your location changed and location sensor is active, it changes your location. Then label 1. So I want here that set label 1 dot text. So the text of label 1 should be changed to, if you hover your mouse pointer over this latitude, then you will find this get latitude option here. And let's duplicate this, paste this here and change the label 1 to label 2. And if you hover to longitude, it, you will find get longitude here. Let's just delete this one using the delete key of your keyboard and snap this here. So yeah, this was all about the coding of your map. So this is the entire code. We are done with the code. We are done with the designer window. Now let's again test this app on our mobile devices. So for Android device, you need... MIT AI Companion app. Download the app from Play Store. Go to Connect, open AI Companion and drag this barcode. When you open the MIT AI Companion app, it will ask you to scan the code. Just scan the code and you will be able to test the app on Android device. And similarly, if you are using iOS device, then go to Connect. Sorry, then download MIT Inventor app uh, and uh, uh, you MIT AI2 Inventor app and then again open the app. It will ask you to scan the barcode, go to connect, click on AI Companion, scan this barcode and you'll be able to test the app on your iOS device. You can also use emulator. For that, you need to download the emulator online. Uh, the emulator is AI Starter for MIT app. You will find the link to download the emulator. When you click on connect, you click on emulator. It will, just a minute. 
yeah in this green pop-up it says need help if you click on this need help it will open a documentation for you and here you will find step-by-step -step procedure of downloading the emulator on your computer device these are uh, four options option one option two option three option four we'll go for option three download emulator if you don't have a device then use this option click go to instructions the instructions are pretty clear and easy you can easily download emulator and then connect your MIT uh, this browser with your emulator so now let's just test the app So yeah, we are done with testing the app. One more thing, just make sure when you test the app on your iOS or Android device, make sure that you have turned on the location for MIT App Inventor app or MIT AI Companion app on your Android device. The location should be turned on. Otherwise, the app, this app, this Get My Location app will not be able to track your location. So make sure you have uh, turned on your location on your device so i hope you all have enjoyed the video so far thank you so much for tuning in happy inventing